What's good, YouTube? This your man, Spill Dog. It's starting to look more and more like uh, Earl and Derrick James really split up. I've heard it from three different sources now, so it's kind of looking like that's so. <clears throat> and, if, and if that's the case, I ain't really that surprised. Uh, I think I, I made a video right after the fight that Earl and Terrence Crawford had that Earl didn't look good. Now, I was like, uh, didn't look like he had no fight plan, and it just looked like he was doing the same thing over and over again. And I really felt like Derrick James kind of got the big hit once he got the Trainer of the Year award and was just taking on all these different fighters. Uh, and if y'all remember, when Earl was first getting really, really getting popular in the, uh, in, in the professionals, Derrick James said it, that he was a humble guy. He said he still had his regular job, and he said he really didn't want no other fighters. Uh, he said he wasn't trying to get into it. It wasn't about the money for him at that particular time. He was just trying to get Earl to the top. A little bit after that, I say maybe a year or two later, he took Charlo on. Then uh, he took Frank Martin on. Then he took AJ on. Then he took Ryan Garcia on. And it got to the point where it looked like he could not say no. And when they and then he didn't hire no help. So not only are you trying to ch train five fighters at the same time, you ain't hired nobody to help you do this. And I remember when he was saying that he had them all slotted in, at, you know, like two hours here, two, you know. And in my opinion, ain't no way in the hell you can get your fighter his under your undivided attention. And you got all these different fighters fighting at the same time. Come and you doing all the training yourself. Somebody going to get neglected. Ain't no doubt about it because you're going to be tired. You know, uh, he not a machine. He only human. And when 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 DJ started taking shots at Bo Mack, that was completely out of his character. And that's when I knew that trainer of the year award really got to his head. Uh, I think... I think Derrick James was a good fighter when he was boxing, but he didn't get the notoriety that Spence and, uh, and, and Charlo got when he was fighting. And I think I think he was finally getting his just due to some degree in the sport, and it really got to his head. I mean, it changed him. You know, uh, I'm glad Earl made the decision to switch because I felt like that after the fight, man. I was pissed off with Derrick James because I, 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 I was in – you can look at my videos today out there. Uh, I felt like he let Earl down. Uh, I felt like he brought him in there underprepared. You know, it's okay for the fighter to uh, to 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 be overconfident in the fight, but a trainer uh, he should have been he should have been looking at Crawford years ago. He should have been getting Earl ready and preparing for Crawford years ago, the same way Bo Mack and Crawford did against Spence, so, you know, uh, I'm not surprised if they split. I think Blu-ray did a good job with Spence when he had him, uh, and maybe that's where he's going to go. Who knows if he even going to keep fighting, you know, uh, all that's up in the air from where I'm sitting at, but I, I, I can't say I'm completely surprised by what happened on the trainer situation. I, I, you know, did Earl pull the trigger too fast? I don't know. All I know is if Derrick James going to be training all them fighters, I, you know, I wouldn't want my trainer training four and five and six uh, high-level high, high fighters. I really wouldn't. Uh, just like Tim Bradley, when he was training, his trainer only trained him. Uh, you know, uh, Floyd Mayweather, Roger Mayweather only trained him. You know, a lot of uh, De La Hoya father was only training him at the time. I think, you know, a lot of times, you need your trainer's undivided attention, especially when you're fighting these big, high-profile fights like this and against high-caliber fighters. And Derrick James, is, is, it was clear to me, you know, I, I felt like it wasn't no coincidence that Frank, Earl, and Charlo all looked like shit last year. All of them, had, all of them went out there and laid an egg, you know, and I felt like, Derrick James didn't get none of them ready right. 
you know, I think I felt like he half trained all of them for uh, for their last fights, you know, and it looked to me like he's more focused again this year when I see him working with Frank and when I see him working with Ryan, he do look like he uh, dialed in. They looked a lot uh, more, a, a lot, a, a, a lot more uh, crispy and clean is when he worked the mitts because I remember Earl Media workout day for, for uh, the Crawford fight. They, their timing was terrible. I mean, uh, and if you go back and look at when Earl was finna fight, it was right around the time when Sean Porter and Adrian Brown was fighting, and Earl was training at Floyd Gym, and you watch him and Derek James training at that time. Then you come up some years later and watch him in that media workout before Terrence Crawford, and it looked like they went in the opposite direction. It looked like it, the the uh, the the mid work was back was worse instead of better. So, I mean, you know, uh, sometimes you got to do what you got to do, man. And uh, I ain't mad at Earl if he made the switch, you know, because he been fighting the same way for a long time now. And I, and I often felt like he was more versatile than that uh, could be the training time or tell, you know. Uh, and I, you know, if, like I say, if that's what he did, I ain't got no problem with that. You know, uh, Earl, no, if, if he don't win as far as he could go with 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 Derek or not, and sometimes a guy can only get you so far, and uh, maybe that's what it is. Uh, I still think a lot of it had to do with Crawford had a, a, a great game plan, and Bo Mac had Bud a hundred percent ready for that fight, you know. And uh, that's what, you know uh, the you know the trainer. As I was saying that when uh after the fight, you can't take all this credit for the victories and then don't take none of the blame for the L's. That's what was, that's, that, that was my whole thing in a nutshell. Every time Earl win, he out there licking his chops, smiling and, 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 and getting big up. So when you lose, you get, you, 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 you get, to, it's, you know, you got to take some of the blame. You don't, you don't let all the blame lay on Earl in a loss, but y'all share the credit when he win. That's bullshit. You know, uh, and I had so many people coming at me in the, in the comment section at that time. But, I, you know, uh, saying that I was trying to uh, use use Derrick James, you know, trying to uh, blame it on Derrick James. You, you damn right I'm blaming it on Derrick James. He's a trainer. You know, because if he'd have won, he'd have took a lot of the credit. That it, you, you know, you don't get one without the other. You know, same way you get credit, you get blamed from where I'm over here you do anyway. You know, uh... So hopefully, I mean, you know, uh, Blu-ray Arrow looking good. Maybe that's the way it's going. Who knows? But, hey, sometimes you got to do what you got to do, man. As simple as that. Uh, but that's it for me on this video. If you like the video, hit the like or subscribe. Till next time, she may have spilled all of them out.